Hey, welcome back and a very good afternoon to all of you and I hope you all are doing well. In this video, I want to discuss some very important points uh, related to right angles. And why this is important? Because uh, you, you could be asked some questions where you have to tell whether uh, the angle between two rays or uh, two lines or uh, two line segments, whatever, is a right angle or not. And actually the accurate way to tell whether any angle is a right angle or what's the value of an angle, what's a measure of any angle is by using protractor. Okay. And that I cannot explain you here because I have certain limitations that, you know, making the video tutorials on like on some software, so we cannot, I cannot tell you how to use a protractor. But, uh, okay, let's begin first, let's begin first so that it could get clear to you what I'm trying to explain you in this video. Just look at what I have written here. It's right angle, right? R-I-G-H-T-A-N-G-L-A. -A. Okay. Let me take I from here. Let me take I from here. And let me draw it like this. A little bigger. Then it's H. Let me draw H here. It's a little bit. Okay. These should be parallel. I mean, we are drawing some rough diagram, so you know I cannot draw accurate, but assume that it's parallel because we know that in H the two lines are you know parallel. And then we have T. So let me take T here. Then we have A and G and L. So we have L here. And then we have E. So let me take E here. A vertical line. This is a vertical line, vertical line, vertical line, vertical, vertical, vertical line. And three parallel lines for E. These are parallel lines. If they are not looking parallel, then I apologize for that because it's a rough diagram. So I assume. Assume them as three parallel, you know, whatever race, segments, or line, whatever. So I, H, T, L, and E. Now, always remember, you could be asked that uh, by drawing simple, you know, two lines, like something like this, like this, and like this. Though it's looking like L, but it can be extended to this point. It's a straight line and it's making a straight angle. This. And you could be asked that what's this angle actually? So, I mean, the accurate way would be by using protractor. But roughly, this angle is right angle. And we know that right angle is actually 90 degrees. And whenever you have a straight line and another vertical line is passing through that straight line, this one. And, and the vertical line is passing through, it will always make a 90 degree. And that is why it will be a, a right angle. If you will measure using protractor, then it will give you 90 degree. If you look at I, this is a horizontal line. This is a horizontal line and a straight vertical line. Right? Vertical means it will make 90 degree. It will drop on the baseline and this angle this angle will be 90 degree. That is right angle. Actually, the better way to represent any right angle is using this you know, uh, denotation rather than this. Both are correct, but if anywhere you see this symbol or uh, representation, then straight you can say that it's a right angle, a 90 degree. So, two horizontal lines 
a vertical line and assume that it's a line segment or line or whatever you want to I mean, say that. In this case, you can say it's a line segment. So this and two horizontal line segments. Now you can clearly see that this is 90 degree because if you take this one and this one, 90 degree. If you take this part of, if you, you can assume that, okay, let me make it array, uh, array, okay. Or I'm gonna simply let it be like line segment. So this line segment and this line segment, it will again, you know, make a 90 degree. And we know that, we can say that this is 90, this is 90, 90 plus 90 is 180, 180 degree and we know that 180 degree is straight angle and of course it makes sense because this is a straight you know uh, line so if it's directed in this way in this direction and it, it is directed in this direction and of course this angle this angle will be 180 degree that is a straight angle and we have seen these things in you know uh, topics uh, related to cardinal directions and the clock where we solve questions uh, you know related to right angle the revolution and all so it's just a revision of those points only a straight whenever you see a straight line and uh, i mean a, straight, a line and another vertical line is just i mean coming on the, uh, intersecting it then it will make 290 degrees one in this um, direct portion and one in this portion and therefore this whole angle between this ray and this ray will be 180 degree okay similarly this line segment this portion of the line segment and this line segment this will also make 90 degree and this portion of the line segment and this line segment it's also making a 90 degree and therefore the angle between these two you know, if you take it as a some point or center, whatever. So, and assume that its direction of this ray is in this direction, and this ray is directed in this direction. Let be it be east and let be west. So this will make these two rays will make a one eighty degree. That is a straight angle. Okay. Similarly, here a vertical line. A horizontal line segment, a vertical line segment, a horizontal line segment here, and this is 90 degree. This is 90 degree. This whole is straight angle that is 180 degree. This is 90 degree. This is 90 degree. This whole is 180 degree. Similarly, here a horizontal line, a vertical line intersecting this horizontal line that is a baseline or whatever you want to say. So, of course, if I take it as an intersection, intersection point, then this portion of the line segment and this portion of the line segment, that is this line segment, it's actually making one right angle. This line segment and this line segment is making another 90 degree. So, 90 plus 90 is 180. Again, this is a straight angle that is 180 degree. Similarly, here. This is a vertical line, this is a horizontal line, 90 degree. This is a horizontal line, this is a vertical, uh, this is a horizontal line segment, a vertical line segment. So even this will be 90 degree. And in this case, between this one and this portion, 90 degree. This line segment and this line segment are 90 degree. This line segment and this line segment is 90 degree. So 90. 90 degree, these all are 90 degree. So what is the point actually? Whenever, whenever you see any such condition where you see one horizontal line, and even if it's not, uh, you know, accurately a horizontal line, maybe you can, you can be given a figure like this. You can be given a figure like this. This, a line, and another line. another line this one so if you are asked that what's this angle 
So whenever you just simply think it of, think it as uh, L, think it of as a uh, letter L, this one, right? If you can imagine this as L, then you can clearly see, say that, oh, hey, it's, it's actually a right angle. But had it been like this, had it been like this, had it been, had it been like this, Now, can you say that it's L? No, it's not L actually, because now in this case, what's happening, you can think it of as something like this, that this is going like this. This is not actually L. It's because this particular line segment is slanted now. It is making some angle with this. And that's, I mean, of course, that's not right angle. It's lesser than that. It's lesser than 90 degree. So this is not a 90 degree, but this is a 90 degree. Right? So in any such cases if you see, and it can be asked to you whether it's a right angle or not. So in that case, you will say that, hey, it's not a right angle. But of course, one, one thing will always be there. Like if it's a line, if it's a, you know, uh, a line, and even if the line goes like this, okay, so this is the first condition. This is a, this is our line. Yes, this is not a 90 degree. This is not a 90 degree, even this is not a 90 degree, but this will always be a straight angle. This will always be a straight angle. Why? Because a straight angle, if you take it as a center or the point of intersection, this ray, I mean, though it's a line, but if you take it as a center or the starting or end intersecting point, now it would behave as a ray. So one ray is going in this direction one ray is going in this direction of course this angle will be 180 degree that is straight angle similarly similarly to what we saw in the case of that we learned in the case of clock if it's 12 and, and and if it is and if it is 6 if our hand is here and it rotated all the way and turn up to 6, right? it came at this position, so this will be a straight angle. So even if it's not making a right angle to this baseline, even then in that case, you can clearly say that this is actually a straight angle because the sum of this angle and the sum of this angle that it be angle 1, A1, it be angle A2. So A1 plus A2 will always be 180 degree. And these, this particular point, I'm going to discuss in our next video. That's really, very really important. The main focus in this video was on right angle. So that you can simply see, see at any diagram or rough diagram or figure, whatever it is given to you. And it, it would surely be given to you and, and it will be asked to tell whether that angle is a right angle or not. So simply, if I, H, T, L and A, these concepts, like how they are making 90 degree is clear to you, then you can straight say that, hey, that's actually whether it is 90 degree or not, because it can be given like this. It can be asked, hey, is it, is it a right angle? So you can say that, hey, that's actually looking like an L, letter L. Though it's not very perfect, one second. So if it is like this, eh? now it's looking like letter L, right? Yeah. So you can say that hey, that's actually a 90 degree. Again, the best way, the accurate way, is to use a, a protractor. But in exam, in your tests, it will be asked to tell. Uh, roughly whether it's a uh, pacify whether it's a right uh, it's a right angle or not so Thanks for watching and please do watch the next video because next video will be related to this uh, Part of the video where we will discuss straight angle more deeply and We will also discuss acute angle and obtuse angle